Hey guys, I wanted to tell you about what an incredible semester this has been, especially relating to how AEC 3030 has really impacted me. It has really given me and built me up with a level of confidence that I never have had before with public speaking. I've really been able to assess my weaknesses and really work on them to exhaustion. And I was able to really reaffirm the level of calmness I have in public speaking, as well as reaffirming my career choices and pursuing my passions and pursuing that relationships within those careers and all the people that I will meet. I really learned how to employ happiness in a relationship. I've really learned to connect with individuals in such a different way this semester. I learned about communication being a two-way street and to really communicate you have to be able to listen to the other person and not try to inflict all you know your ideas and your opinions but take the time to really listen um, and really be a genuine friend. Speaking of being genuine, I learned a lot about authentic friendships. Being authentic in yourself translates to when you're communicating. Um, even with the be best use of ethos, pathos, logos, powerful introductions, and other tools I've learned within this course, if you're not genuine and you're not authentic, it will show. And people won't you know, listen to you. People won't be motivated by you. People won't be inspired by you. And this will really hinder you in the relationships you can make and will make in the future. And I found happiness through living for a purpose. Um, and for me, this includes giving my talents to help people that need it. Such a powerful way I found this out was my mission trip to Haiti. I found love and I found um, a happiness in another culture that I had not ever seen before. I truly believe that you cannot change society if you don't yourself understand how it works at the most basic level. And that means talking to the people there. That means meeting them where they are and being as genuine as possible. And the last point of happiness I want to touch on is the purpose of doing what I love in the field of nutrition and cooking for people. Lots and lots of cooking. But it goes a little bit deeper than that. It goes to the heart of bringing wholesome food to people so that they can really strive for, for greatness in their lives. You know, if they have their nutrition on point, they won't have to worry about diseases in the future. They won't have to worry about bedriddenness in hospitals. I really want to see less and less of diabetes and high blood pressure and, and cholesterol so that people can go and find their wives and not be hindered by all these terrible things that are affecting you know, society today. If they don't have to be worried about that, they can go out and live a fruitful and live a powerful life, connecting with other people, connecting with individuals, and really making a difference in this community. So the little nugget I want to share with everyone is to really find happiness in your career. Really pursue something that you love and that you can see yourself doing every single day for the good of the world and of the community around you. Thanks, guys.